Hey everybody, Glenn here, and guess what? I got my works landlord running. I still got some adjustments to do to the boundary wire as far as returning it to the base station because um, it's hitting some spots where I got to move the wire away from that area just a little bit. But otherwise than that, um, it's working like it's supposed to. Um, as you can see right here, it's it's in mowing mode right now. And she's actually going to mow. Um, watch what's going to do. It's going to hit the wire right now. There she goes. See, it hit it. Turned it around. Now the idea of this mower is it don't mow like a conventional lawnmower where you push it yourself and usually go like you know back and forth you make passes up and down or I know some people like to go like in an oval and keep going around to get to the inside I've done that before myself and this thing here just mows in random patterns and it mows every day for the time that you set it for and it's usually two hours it'll take itself back to the charging base when the battery starts to run too low and so it'll do go back and charge itself and then um, when it's done charging, at the set time again, it'll go back out and mow unless it's not done with a two hour period. It'll go back out and continue mowing. Um, it's got rain sensors in it so that if it starts to rain, it'll automatically sense the rain and it'll go find the boundary wire and it'll follow it, you know, back to the charging base. Ooh, all right, I gotta fix that wire right there, but I just saw it kind of hit it and pull it up. Okay, so not too bad. I got some work to do. And what I'm going to do is works just recommends that you bury this thing in the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bury this wire in the ground after I get it so that it works properly. And then I won't have any problems. Because um, they do say that this mower will, um, it can chop that wire if it's sticking up high enough. So I'm not going to chance that. I'm just going to use the stakes in the ground right now and get it set to where to work. Once it's working... The way it should and it's not going to have any issues trying to find the boundary wire then i'm going to go ahead and bury it and that'll take care of that then if i ever have to dig it up to you know replace it you know maybe i'm going to we're going to be this area up here on top of the hill right up here we're looking into having um paul muskowski come out and maybe landscape the yard and flatten this whole yard so there's going to be no more hill in the yard anymore and when i do that then i'll have to replace this wire or add on to it to make it to you know fill in the whole new area so all right it's in the front yard now it made it out to the front and we'll see what happens and that's what this does it's designed to mow your whole entire yard at random patterns and the one thing is you won't notice is like when you mow with your lawn if you look like hey, let me come over here real quick Karen. i don't know if you can see it or not but you can see the lines in the grass where i mowed with my mower the other day with the Landroid, you won't get that because it's going to roll. It's going to mow it with, in random patterns, and it's just going to keep going until it finishes mowing every inch of your grass. So you have it mows every day. They say five days a week, I guess, and you do it for like a two-hour period and let it go out and mow. So the thing is, is all right. It does it every day, right? Whereas you take a conventional mower and you can mow it in whatever size your yard is, whatever it takes. Like mine takes me. I can do it in about an hour and a half. Um, on a hot day, maybe two, two and a half, because it's so hot out, you know, and I'm just like, whoa, it's too hot out here, and I'm worn down, tired, and sweating, and just don't want to do it. So this will take care of it for me. So all right, so I just wanted to show you this. Here is my Landroid, my works Landroid in action. And it's really quiet. You can hardly hear this thing. It's like, God, all you can hear is like a fan that's on, cooling the electronics. And you can hear the blade a little bit underneath spinning, but not. Not a lot, so not bad. All right, I'm going to get out of here and let this thing do some mowing. See how it does. All right, see. Every, oh, and you can program this thing. So it comes pre-programmed out of the box. But if you want to make changes to it, you can. So I'm going to do with, I'm going to make some changes to it so that I can have it mow to what I want it to. But right now, it's just doing it strictly out of the box. All right, so I'm going to watch this thing for a little bit, and I'm going to get out of here. See you, everybody.